Today I have something pretty exciting. Let's take a look at it. On the bench we have an Anden Star AD27S Pro. Let's open it up. Manual. Our screen and camera. Let's do that rewarding peel. I'm not entirely sure what this is. Has an LED on the bottom. USB charger. That's nice. 32 gigabyte SD card. These look like samples of some sorts. I'm guessing that's what this light is for, is to illuminate underneath. Parts and pieces. Remote control. Mount. Our base with lighting on goosenecks. HDMI to mini HDMI. Cable with controls. And another cable. Right off the bat, I'm going to say assembly instructions leave something to be desired. As there really isn't any. Lots of function stuff. I don't think it's going to be that complicated. These are our ports and SD card reader slot. Looks like this hardware bag has a uh, hardware for clamps on the base. I don't think we're going to need it for our purposes. Probably something more in the lines of the sample type stuff. We have a hidden port on the back for the lights on the base. That cord also powers your sample inspecting light. So my capture dongle is having great difficulty picking this up so far. Any other options here that I'm missing? We finally got it to display on the computer. The only way I was able to do this was through the USB and through their software. It did not pick up an OBS under capture. The HDMI port, I could not get to work at all. There doesn't seem to be any obvious mode for this thing to do that. So I'm not really sure what the HDMI port is for other than hooking directly to a monitor. Overall, through the USB, the picture's pretty good, but the lag is definitely there. Might as well look at some of these samples. First sample is called Pine Stem, and we are really zoomed down as you can see from the bench view. I have to admit, that's pretty cool. We have some wobble in the image coming through USB. This one's called Honey Bee Worker. Appears to be part of a bee, a leg or something. Another part of a sacrificial honey bee. This is an onion. This is apparently a compound eye off of something I'm not going to try to pronounce. Well, all that was cool. I don't know of any better test than to do an actual job under this thing. And what we have here is a broken port on a Nintendo Switch Lite that we need to change up. Let's do a real job under this thing and see what it can do. The quality of the camera looks good, but I'm not a big fan of how far back I'm having to put this board on the stand to get it in the picture. It's back almost to the stand. Not unworkable. I managed to not record the pool. I am so sorry about that. My impressions of working under this thing is it's very awkward. If this is what you're used to using, probably be fine. So in order to get my board holder on the platform where it's not wiggling and you know, half on, half off, I'm having to solder at a very strange angle. And I would not be normally soldering in this direction. I would normally be soldering in a much more comfortable orientation. Don't know even how to wick in this orientation. Trying to miss that connector. At this moment, I feel like I'm very lucky that I have not actually caused damage. I'll add more low melt to that, see if we can clear it out. There we go. I do need to test further, but we're going to go ahead and tend these. It's hard to tell if I'm just making contact with the ball or the whole tip in this orientation. See if I can test this thing. The delay is really messing with me. I'm hoping nothing's bad because I really don't want to try to change one of these chips under this. Okay, everything seems to be okay so far. Touch our BQ. Okay, everything seems okay on the BQ. Check our invincible fuse. Good. Go test pads. That one should be ground. None of the rest of them should be. All right. Seems like that's the only problem we have. My microscope is much more flexible as far as where I can sit things and how much room I have to work. 
I'm probably not even going to do the port because this is actually a customer job and I don't want to mess that up. It was definitely a different experience if you're trying to record the repair at the same time as you're trying to work on it you're probably going to have to look at your monitor because it's got this big PC camera window on there. You're having to constantly move the board out of that area so you can see. There's a few little awkward things about this for my type of work and if you're not used to the flexibility that a microscope like I have with an articulating arm gives you you probably wouldn't have a problem with this thing for me it's a major step down having to work around the scope rather than the scope work for me when i was first beginning this probably would have been very cool to have for inspection i think this thing's going to be great look how close you can inspect a port on a nintendo switch let's go over the pros great picture incredible zoom great low light response even better than my setup i really like the lighting on it too anti-glare the cons Flexibility, you had to work around the scope instead of the scope working around you. Couldn't get the HDMI to work. Tried several HDMI capture options and it just wouldn't recognize it. The picture on the screen and on the computer was a little laggy in my experience. A few milliseconds off from whenever I was moving to whenever I was seeing it on the screen. There are several sizes available. If your eyesight is as bad as mine, I would recommend going with a bigger size. My final verdict, the barrier to entry to getting in this field of work has never been lower. This scope is far superior to anything that was available when I started. Hot air stations are cheaper than they've ever been. They've just come out with a soldering station that has recovery for less than $500. What's your excuse? Thank you to Endostar for sending it over. I'll definitely put it to use. It was growing right over there on my disassembly bench and will be helpful in plugging in ribbon cables with these getting older eyes. If you enjoyed this video, check out this one I did on grinding tools and I'll see you there.